Welcome to the High Voltage Light Electric Vehicle channel. This week's video is looking at Chris's bike using the Lightning Rod's Big Block IPM motor. I love this bike because it epitomizes everything that we stand for and do here at High Voltage. Chris had a vision to build a street legal bike and he brought this to life on our Discord community, getting help and advice from many people as well as contributing himself to the community along the way, which is exactly how it's intended to work. If you enjoy building and using light electric vehicles, you're welcome to be part of our community regardless of experience level. There's no snobbery or elitism with high voltage and definitely no stupid wars as to whether hub or mid-drive motors are best. It's a place for everyone to share ideas, get help and build amazing light electric vehicles. Links to join are in the description. Chris will now tell you a bit about his bike. If you have any other questions, I'm sure I'll be happy to answer them. Cheers. <clears throat> All right, hello everyone. Um, it's been, my name is Chris. This is my Lightning Rods big block bike. And it's been a pleasure to finally make it onto this channel. And I'm just gonna give you a quick walkthrough. Hopefully I can get some uh, nice flyby shots. Unfortunately, I don't have a GoPro or anything, so can't get too many um, cockpit shots. Well, let's start on this side um, with the motor. Uh, this is the Lightning Rods big block uh, IPM motor designed by Michael Bacchus of Oregon. Um, it's going, it's a single stage reduction, going from a 12 tooth sprocket, 29 chain, 219 chain to a um, 63 tooth sprocket. And that downsizes down here to a 22 tooth sprocket with a 420 chain to the Suron. These are Suron um, Supermotor wheels. Uh, Suron Supermotor wheels, uh, 42 tooth rear. Um, I'll hit brakes real quick. Uh, brakes, these are just the standard uh, Supermoto rotors. I couldn't really find anything larger or smaller. These are SRAM Guide T brakes. They work surprisingly well for just MTB brakes. Um, I have them in the front there as well. Over here in the rear is uh, a DNM RCP burner shock. Um, the tensioning system was uh, helpfully co-developed by uh, John of light, uh, John of High Voltage, who gave me this file and I mod modified it to fit me. I got CNC'd by Zometry.com and I got it fit and it works beautifully. Moving on to the controller here. This is a back 4000 controller manufactured and tuned by uh, ASI and Greg of High Voltage. He got this controller kit for me with all its wires. And then again, John of High Voltage, can't thank you enough for letting me on this channel, has uh, made me this beautiful mount here uh, with my own logo too. Um, cars are passing by. <laughs> um, yeah. So that's the controller side. The battery in here, uh, I can give you guys some pics. I am not going to open up the panel because it's all complicated. It's like 16 volts. Um, it is a um, 72 volt, 45 amp hour battery uh, from Real Coal of high voltage. You guys have helped me so much. Uh, 45 amp hour battery, 140 amps of discharge. Um, I can get more specs up there. This is just all I'm remembering off the top of my head. Um, I guess we'll move up here to the cockpit. I have just a little charge port here, XT60 charge port. Uh, if I can get this back in. I have some USBs, which I currently do not actually have hooked up. Uh, if I can grab the plug. Never mind. They're just two USBs, and then this is the uh, key ignition slot for the key. If I can grab it. Let's get the key. Get in. I tried to do it awkwardly, but I got a nice lightning rods key, key tag with that. So that's the key portion. Uh, straddling the bike and moving up here to the cockpit is these controls. So we have full twist throttle here and half twist regen throttle here. The regen is super strong. I've locked up the wheel with it. Uh, and you guys will notice I have full uh, DOT. This is a fully DOT street legal bike. I have 
spent lots of work into the 12 volt system. Obviously, we have a neg rider up here. Um, so, turn that on. We have kill switch there. And then, obviously, we got horn. I'll give you guys a little walkthrough of the DOT system. So, turn signals. We have our um, <clears throat> left turn signal, all controlled by that little knob there. Obviously, back in the back there. Canceling, push in. Right turn signal. Back in the back there, you have the right turn signal. Up here, you have your uh, normal turn signal there. So then we also have hazards. So you can see hazards up there. And <clears throat> the wheel, the relays are a bit out of sync. So they're kind of a little weird there. But that's that. Oh, one button. Um, there's no other controls on that side except for this. This is the night mode button, which turns on the headlight right there. Turns on the headlight and then it turns on the uh, <clears throat> brake, brake light there with um, a burnt out uh, light uh, license plate thing, which I'll replace eventually. And then if I can grab it back here and my brake lever, there are, there are brake lights. I think it's a bit easier to see if I turn this off, but also there are high beams. There are high beams there. So if I turn that off, come back here. There, there they are brake lights attached to 